Kenya Power Contact Centre started way back in 2012, but before then we had various small contact centres in the regions where customers would call for emergency power outages or they would even walk in there. But as time went by with an increased customer base, we realised that uh, a lot of those customers would walk into those small contact centres, their complaints would not be captured. And in most cases, they would be very frustrated. They would call back, they would walk back there. So as a company, we decided we needed to be more focused on our customer. And in alignment with our core values, that is the customer first, it was found befitting for the company to come up with a national contact center. This was meant to be the central touch point of customers, where customers would be able to call from a central place. And from there, we are able to communicate and interact and advise customers on any issues that they would call on. Our objective basically is to give customer good customer service. We look forward to giving customer what we call a wow customer experience. Basically is to ensure customers are satisfied and they are able to access our company. As I said, in case they have any issues, they have queries, they have information they want to give the company or even to inquire about some products that a company is currently trying to give customers and all that. So it's more of a central place where customers should be able to get information. We have various products and a lot of them are products that relate with our company services. We have what we call the steam alone. Um, we were encouraging customers to form groups so that they are able to be given electricity as a group. We also have currently what we call Okoa Jahazi, where customers, if they do not have adequate credit and they want to continue using electricity, they can Okoa through the Safaricom and PESA. We do have uh, what we call prepaid. This is a product where all our customers are being moved from the postpaid to the prepaid. It's easier for the customers to manage their finances, to manage how much power they want to use in a month, and uh, many other products that uh, we are trying to help enhance customer service. Apart from the customers calling Kenya Power through the 9551, that is a premium, easy to remember number, and we're encouraging all the customers to call that number. It is easier for them to reach us. We have also two other numbers. We have 0703-070707 and 0732. That is a cell tail number, 170170. Apart from encouraging customers to reach us through those three numbers, we are also encouraging customers to use our Facebook, our social media. It's faster to reach us and even in terms of response, it's real time because in social media and Facebook, as the customer interacts with us, we are able to immediately give feedback. We are also encouraging them to use what we call interactive voice response. That is a product that has been offered. Every time a customer calls through, they are able to be taken through the self-help service, that one of where they can be able on their own without reaching a live agent, pick or place any number to get the kind of assistance they need. So if they can use those channels, it will be easier and it will also help us reduce the queue and their time that they hold on the phone waiting to talk to a live agent. I would like to tell our customers that as a company, we are focused on customer satisfaction. We are a customer-centric company. We want to give our customers the best, excellent customer service. However, we have had challenges as we are trying to upgrade our systems and maintain our network. And given time, we believe issues of power outages will be a thing of the past as the company is geared towards improving and ensuring that the customers do not have to be calling us just to complain, but more so to compliment us and to get more information that is relevant to their issues. As an investor or a developer, there are many things you have to consider as you embark on your development project. One such critical and important thing is power. As you make plans for your development, it is important that you approach Kenya Power at the earliest stage possible. This will guarantee that as your development project proceeds, your plans for power are also ongoing. And with an additional 5,000 megawatts of electricity being injected into the power grid, you can be guaranteed that power costs are definitely coming down. 
Plan for power as you embark on your development project.